Welcome back. And we had a stunner tonight. Uh, did not have on my bingo card the Heat hitting 20 plus threes. Kristaps Porzingis playing to like a minus 30 in the plus minus differential as Bam out of bio ate his lunch. And house, here we go again. Those cockroaches, the Miami <laughs> Heat. They, just when you thought we were out, they pull you back in. They are just the. <laughs> They are the absolute worst team to play in one of these seven-game series. And even without Jimmy Butler, even without Terry Rozier, House, they're even with the Celtics. It just doesn't matter, JJ. They got that one dude. Coach Spolstra is still driving that ship down in Miami. And as long as he's upright, Miami has a chance. Because somehow, some way, he whips up a magic potion of three-point makes, sprinkles it across all those bums, and bam! They're all drained threes. I think I saw one of the stats, and, and you guys can go through it, uh, and I know Dream has it on his fingertips. The the, the Celtics have given up, you know, uh, 50% three-point shooting four times over the last some number of years, and the Heat have done it to them three times or something in the past two years. Some crazy number like that. It's a magic thing that the Heat do come playoff time. I I have nothing to do but tip the cap, Dream. Yeah, I don't even know what to say because I watched this Miami Heat team all season long. They shoot 33% from three. They average 12 threes a game. In the postseason, for whatever reason, when they play the Boston Celtics, they're the best three-point shooting team of all time. And they go out there and make 23 threes, shoot 53%. And, you know, Spo was a genius because he ran that bam and hero pick and roll and they torched the Celtics. I mean, just dominated them, took them into the deep waters and drowned them. And then you got Caleb Martin, who becomes a splash br brother every time he, he enters the postseason. So I don't know what else I can say about this Heat team and Eric Spostra, but he's clearly one of the greatest coaches of all time. He is a phenomenal head coach. And guys, I have a bet I want to add in this particular series. Look, I still think at the end of the day, Boston is going to find a way to win. We don't have Jimmy Butler playing. Miami cannot hit 20 plus threes, multiple games in this series. I just don't expect that to be the case. But I do think they're going to have another moment in them. And I think this series is going to end up going six games. House, how do you feel about this? Plus 180, Celtics heat goes six. I think we're getting a six game. I do. I don't have any reason to argue with you on it because at that price, you're 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 basically just betting three point variance one more time. The one thing that we have to remember is that this Celtics team is incapable, not capable of adjusting on the fly. So the Heat came in, we're in a comfort zone the entire game. And the Celtics did nothing to disrupt the comfort that the Heat experienced. And so, J.J., at plus 180, what you're saying is one more time, the Heat had to come in and knock down an above-average number of threes, an above-average, you know, shooting percentage from the, from the field. Plus 180 is, is fair comp from my perspective, Dream. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't necessarily like that bet. For me, I think I would rather just play them on the money line for one of these next two games. And you can get, I mean. What do you think I'm going to be getting at, Raheem, the next two? All right, so game three, I don't like their chances. I feel like it's a bounce back spot for the Celtics. Let's say the Celtics win by 10. What am I getting the heat at game four? I mean, right now you're looking at plus 260 for game three. I'm imagining you're probably going to get in that same range unless, you know, the Celtics really blow them out. Maybe you get plus 300 or so. So, like, if you ask me, if the if the Heat are going to win another game, it's going to come at home. So it's one of these next two games. I don't see the Heat losing games three and four and coming back and winning games five in, in Boston. I just don't see that happening. I would rather just kind of just pick my spot on one of those games as opposed to playing them in six. Fair enough. The spot will not be in game three. That I can tell you. And Dream, I, I know it's been a struggle so far with 100. Got to commend you, though. Uh, Oklahoma City, that was too easy. Uh, against New Orleans. Outside of Valachunas getting like 10 easy points at the beginning of the game, Holmgren was incredible. The Thunder looked far more comfortable than they did in game one. That was Cupcake City for you, bro. About time. 
Oh, yeah. I mean, it's very, very easy. You look at this Oklahoma City Thunder team. They got whatever they wanted offensively. You're talking about a team. They had a 131 offensive rating. So they were just cooking with hot fire. And then defensively, they proved that they were been a top five, top 10 defense all year long because they forced turnovers all night long. I think, you know, I'm watching that game. It felt like the Pelicans had like 10 offensive fouls. So they just absolutely dominated. And I think you have to look at this Pelicans team and wonder if people are sleeping on them because all year long you've heard, oh, this team is too young and young teams don't win. Well, they sliced up a good Pelicans defense and you have to wonder, are they capable of beating the Dallas Mavericks? Are they, are they capable of beating the Los Angeles Clippers? Because this team looks for real. My only observation in terms of Oklahoma City, let's see it on the road. Yeah. I, I, I'm right mm-hmm. there with you, Dream. I mean, they, they took care of, of all that business. They proved out top five offensive rating, top five defensive rating, one of uh, you know a couple teams in the league to fit that parameter. And all of it was on full display tonight. But for a young team, you got to see how they respond on the road. I think they're up to it. I mean, you know, they're, 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 they're fearless. They're extremely efficient. JJ, uh, I can't wait to, to see what comes next in, in this series. I don't think I'm ready to put the Pelicans in the ground yet. I think the Pelicans can go and play spunky and, and spirited basketball, maybe to go and get themselves a game. But Oklahoma City is going to win this series. Uh, you, you saw game one, they had their scare and they still found a way to win. Looked a lot more comfortable in game two. I, I see a split in these next two. And then we're looking at OKC probably winning this bad boy in five. But to Raheem's point, that will be a fascinating second round series against the Dallas Clipper winner. And I wouldn't be surprised if the Dallas Clipper winner is right around even money as far as I'm concerned. But this OKC team, they got a humming. They got an MVP candidate. They are a fun watch as we move forward here in the NBA postseason. We come back with best bets before we say goodbye right after this. <laughs> 